All right, welcome back. So in this module, I'm going to talk about imbalance, what it is and why it's important with your trading. So as you can see, here is the uh, the chart that we just put on. So what I want to do, I'm going to take off the indicators just to make the chart a little bit cleaner. In fact, I'm going to take the pivots off as well. So imbalance, essentially when we have a trade, okay, if you buy something, then you need to find a seller. And when you're going for a sell order, you need to find a buyer. Now, what happens when we have imbalance is imbalance is usually created by the banks and building society or the, the, the financial institutions when they want to push price in a certain direction. It's also called improper price action. And it's when they inject so much cash that they, there aren't any um, fellow buyers or sellers. They just they just push the push put cash in um, and the price moves in the direction that they want it to move into. Um, so essentially what they do is they're leaving vast quantities of cash on the table okay, to push price in the direction they want it to go in. So what we do on the charts, what that, that imbalance is identified by gaps in the market. Okay, So let's just go back to a, an area where there may well be imbalance. Um, so what, I, what you can do as well, you can also get an indicator that gives you or highlights the imbalance. So you can you can type in um, go to the indicators type it in imbalance you put it on your chart and it will turn the imbalance candles a different color so you can do it uh, white if you like in this instance you'll be able to see it but one thing I always say is that if you can do as many processes as you can manually then you're gonna learn and you're gonna train your eye you're gonna train your brain into what is happening with price and straight away you'll start to see it so in this instance, I'm going to take off this because that was that was previous imbalance that we had on. Okay, so what I do, if you look at this candle here, so the first candle, okay, there's a gap, okay, there's a gap here, look, between to the crosshair, between there and the third candle. So you've got the first candle, the second candle, which is where the imbalance was created, and the third candle. Now what you should have, you should have a crossover between all candles, okay, so you've got a there you've got you've got sellers, then you've got the buyers, and then you've got the sellers, then you've got the buyers, then you've got oh there's a gap. Okay? So that gap is the imbalance. So what I do with that is I'll take off that and I'll just put the crosshair at the bottom of that wick there and I'll bring it across, okay, and I'll put it on top of that wick. Okay. Just there. Okay? Just on top of that. And that for that particular price is imbalance okay so what it means is that they've they've put as much cash in as they can the institutions um, and it's caused this imbalance so there were no buyers on there okay so what does that mean it means that price has to come up to take out or mitigate that price that improper price action okay so the the, the banks need to bring it all the way back up again um, and and take their money back off the table okay so if we look at this, okay, the actual numbers there, okay, we've got seven seven point four pips of price, okay. So ten million dollars to move uh, in one pip in direction. So you're looking at you know seventy 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 plus million dollars uh, that's been put on there. And obviously you can see that wasn't that wasn't retail traders like you or me. It was the you know the big financial institutions. So that's what I do at the start of a session. I always go and look for imbalance. Um, so if you see if we can find a bit more. Okay, so what have we got there? Okay, we've got a tiny bit there, a really tiny bit. I mean, literally. So between that, that wick, okay, you can see, well, between that wick rather, and this wick here. So that's candle one. Okay, this is the wick with the imbalance, and this is candle three. Okay, so if that candle came up to there, that would have mitigated that imbalance and there wouldn't be any but currently there is okay so what I do I take it all the way across so I just so I can see it okay and then it's just just to there so it doesn't really matter sometimes how small the imbalance is but if it's there it's relevant okay that's it so between that wick if I put the uh, between that wick there that week there and this week here okay that's imbalance between this week here and this week here imbalance okay and price has to come back and if we go right okay 
then you can see price came up and it took out this imbalance okay price went up touched the imbalance it's probably going to take that out but it's got to take it out at some point and what it means on our chart is that when we see imbalance we can either generally if the price is below and it's, re it's going up to touch the imbalance it's either going to bounce off it or it's going to break through it okay like I say any line on your chart price is going to bounce or break and sometimes depending on the price action which means how fast it's going or whatever the price is doing you can sometimes tell if it's going to bounce or break and then if you get further imbalance up there you can sometimes tell if the if the price is going to just, just take out all the imbalance in one go okay um, but we can talk about that on a later date but I always put the imbalance in because I always think it's important to add as many as many factors as possible and sometimes you don't want too many on you know we've got obviously we've got the pivots okay we've got our our areas of interest that we're going to talk about in the next module um, so you don't want too much information because I know a lot of people who are just learning trading they 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 want something to build their confidence so they add additional uh, indicators okay and by the end of it they have so many lines on and so many dashes and so many flashing lights and literally they're going well it's gone to that price or it's gone to that level and it's gone to that level and there's nothing really clear so you want to keep it simple but you want to keep your indicators on just enough just so it gives you a full picture of what's going on okay because sometimes if you don't put the imbalance on and bearing in mind this imbalance sometimes can be the imbalance the money on the table can be there for you know days weeks even months and sometimes when price comes up and stops and you go well, why, why is price come to there what's going on okay and then suddenly you realize oh there's imbalance okay and now I understand okay and if you want to know anything that's going to happen in the future okay potentially go left go back see what's happened in the past and you'll form whatever's happened in the past always happens in the future okay that's one of the things about trading okay so if you want to know where is price gonna go okay we're gonna talk about this in the next module where could price possibly go well let's go back let's go left and let's see where price has been and that will give us the best indication of where price may well go okay so it all all adds up um, okay so that essentially is imbalance so there's two ways to do it you can get the indicator and you, your candle will turn a different color or you can do it manually and one of the things I do I always recommend to do as many things as you can manually to to get to understand the process and to you know get yourself get your eye in and really understand um, the whole the whole process all right hope that helped if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you got some benefit from this and I'll see you in the next module